all for art and art for big oversized stuffed chairs. Okay, so I hope you can see the dimensions here. What makes this three dimensions is it has a width, a length, and a height. So there's kind of a V here. So let's make the base of our chair down towards the bottom of the paper. And let's make the starting V for the chair. Maybe it's a little wider than it is long. So this line might be a little longer than this one. I guess I did a little parallel line above. So I'm going to put a line like that, and I'm going to even round the edge because sometimes there's rounded things. So I did a little decoration with my lines. And I'm going to do my arm. It's going to come up. And it's going to be about that thick. So I give myself a starting place. And I want the same thickness over here. So I give myself a starting place. And now I've got room for a nice big cushion. So let's go ahead and make the thickness of the cushion. Let's go up a little, up a little, and make a rounded top just up a little. And then our arm is going to come up and out and around and over and meet that starting place I had. So it came up and out and around and over. And that's the front of the arm of the chair. So however far in you came here, up and over and around and meet the bottom. And now this shape is going to be copied back here. So it goes up and in, goes up and in. And then I go to the topmost point and I go parallel to this line. And there we go, make it meet the contour. So this contour of my arm and this contour of my arm match. Now, how far over? So this back of this cushion, well, let's see, this is going to go over the same. This is the angle it's going at. So here's the front edge and here's the back edge. So we're going to draw over and figure out where would that hit. So matching over, I can draw a line that's about this same length. So if it's about that long, I find my top point and I go over and I'm going to swing in. And this is going to go over at the same angle. So let's figure out where this meets. This is my angle that the seat goes in and I can connect that up with that shape there. And then the back of my chair comes out a little and it's going to be over a little bit over here too. It comes over a little and we'll go ahead and make it arc a little at the top too so it looks big and stuffed and comfortable. And we can even put an extra little line along the top where there's maybe some sewing. And then maybe the top goes at this same angle. Maybe it's got some thickness to it. So I'll go over and over here I'll go over. I'll match the shape, the contour of the chair. I'll match the shape here. And come down and this will meet the side of my chair it'll meet back here now for my legs I chose to come straight down and straight down from the inside of my arm so I matched up my leg to the same place and then I put a rounded contour and a rounded contour on the bottom over here I'm going to put the straight side 
in a little bit. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to round. And then here I'm going to have some fun and pretend it's like a wood that's been shaped a little bit. So I'm going to come in and go up. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to come in and I'm going to go up. And over here in and up. But I can see the back side of that wood and it's going the same direction. So a little bit over and then straight up. And then that would be shadowed. So we'll just do that in solid. And I'd be able to see the side of this if it were a piece of wood and it would be going the same direction. So a little bit over and straight up. And maybe that would be shadowed too. And over here, maybe I'd see a little bit of this side. So I don't think I'd be able to see, this one was kind of squat, the legs weren't very tall. I don't think I'd be able to see that other leg. So sometimes I stick a leg under, but if I stuck the leg under, it doesn't quite match where it should be. So the other leg would be hidden. And this chair is leaning back a little more than this one. And I did some shading. So I put some marks in here to show that it's darker there and maybe a little darker underneath the arm and there we go there's our big overstuffed chair and if you had an opening between your arms my arms kind of came close together on this guy you can connect it with showing that seat so there we go all for art and art for comfortable chairs.